one of Olivia Jade's former classmates, YouTube lifestyle and beauty blogger Harlow Brooks, got candid about going to high school with the star days after news of the college admissions scandal broke. Once Brooks learned that Olivia's mom, actress Lori Laughlin, and her husband, designer Massimo Gianelli, allegedly paid $500,000 to make it appear that their daughters had been rowers so they could get into USC on an athletic scholarship, the blogger decided to divulge more information about what high school life was like for Olivia and her older sister, Isabella Rose Gianelli. Get push notifications with news, features and more. Follow following you'll get the latest updates on this topic in your browser notifications. When this whole cheating scandal came out, I'm not going to say I was surprised, because we are in that world," Brooks began, adding that she was going to share a little bit of my tea. Brooks, now a high school senior, started her video by explaining that as she was starting her junior year, she moved to Los Angeles and enrolled in the same prestigious private school as the Giannale sisters. I remember when I was touring the school I saw a picture of Olivia Jade's sister actually on the wall with the seniors, and it was like, congratulations Bella for getting into USC," she said. And I was like, wow, USC is super hard to get into. Then I remember hearing later that Olivia had also gotten into USC, and I was like, whoa, that's kind of crazy, because USC is very extremely hard to get into. So not only one sister, but both of them," Brooks added. While the blogger was impressed to hear the sisters had both gotten into the top-tier college, she admits she did assume it may have been because their mom's a celebrity or she donates a lot of money to the school. Brooks went on to open up about the high-pressure environment students faced at the high school, she transferred after one year to get into the best colleges in the country. There's a network of five to seven or so private schools in Los Angeles that are $30,000 to $45,000 in tuition every year. The work is literally harder than college. It is insane what these students go through to go to these schools because their parents think that they need to. They want them to go to Yale and Harvard and USC, Brooks said. While she still attended the high school, Brooks said she hardly had any extra time to do anything besides schoolwork and after-school activities. So she couldn't quite understand how Olivia still had the bandwidth to run a popular YouTube channel on top of all the work. I would have to get up at 6 a.m. every morning and I would leave school at 4 o'clock p. and then I would have six hours of homework," Brooks, who had a class with Olivia and often saw her in the hallways, said. It made me think, how is she doing this? How does she travel for YouTube? How does she have time to make YouTube videos? An arrangement with the school or something, she wondered. It just didn't make sense to me. These schools, your life is literally 100% school. Brooks said the stress of getting into college and getting good grades affected students so much, many would take Adderall, a prescription drug to treat ADHD, antidepressants and anti-anxiety medications to cope. It's all this stress and pressure for no point, except to say that you went to this certain high school, and I think that's why they go," she said. Because the rich people in LA want their kids to go to these schools so they can say they go to these schools so people know they pay $50,000 for their high school. It's a super weird world. Although that she noted that she was not aware of what Olivia's grades were like at the all-girls high school, Brooks believes that they likely were not straight A's. Seeing as I am a person who loves school and do really well at school, 
and I couldn't even handle the workload, I know that she's publicly stated that she doesn't like school, I can't even imagine making it through a school like that if you are not committed," Brooks said. Olivia herself joked that she was never at school in a video she posted on her YouTube channel nearly a year before her parents were charged in the alleged college admissions cheating scam. In the nine-minute clip from May 2018, the social influencer documented her last day of high school and her class's senior prank. Ahead of her day, Olivia got ready in the bathroom, where she revealed that attending class hadn't been a top priority for her. I'm, like, excited to go, do the school prank, she said. But I'm also literally never at school that I think my class doesn't even, and maybe they forget I go there. She then let out a laugh and clarified, I'm just kidding. The teen also faced backlash last year when she posted a video in which she said she was only interested in attending college for the parties. While answering fan questions, Olivia said she wasn't sure how she planned to balance her social media career while taking classes as a freshman at the University of Southern California. I don't know how much of school I'm gonna attend, but I'm gonna go in and talk to my deans and everyone and hope that I can try and balance it all," she said. But I do want the experience of like game days, partying, I don't really care about school, as you guys all know. She later apologized for the comments in a second video, admitting she was disappointed in herself. I said something super ignorant and stupid, basically. And it totally came across that I'm ungrateful for college, I'm going to a really nice school. And it just kind of made it seem like I don't care, I just want to brush it off. I'm just gonna be successful at YouTube and not have to worry about school," she said in the video. I'm really disappointed in myself. Her mother Laughlin and father Giannale are among dozens charged in an alleged college admissions scam involving elite colleges and universities including Yale, Georgetown, the University of Southern California and Stanford. Both Laughlin and Giannulli were arrested this week on a felony charge of conspiracy to commit mail fraud and honest services mail fraud. Giannulli appeared in federal court on Tuesday and was released after posting a $1 million bond. Laughlin made her first appearance in federal court on Wednesday in Los Angeles, where a judge set her bond at $1 million, according to the Associated Press. It's unclear if Olivia was aware of the alleged scheme and she was not charged. Her older sister, Isabella Rose, 20, is also enrolled at USC and was not charged. 